Hey everybody, uh, this is Brent with Summit and today I'm going to do a, an extended test drive in the Wrangler right behind me, Stingray Rubicon 4xE. Really good looking uh, vehicle right there. But we're going to do some real world driving, city driving, highway driving with this hybrid and just see how it goes. I got the battery all charged up so we should be 100% on that. I uh, did that on Friday afternoon and it is now Sunday afternoon but uh, we're going to take a ride in that and uh, hop along for the ride and we'll get some real world driving with a 2021 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 4xE. Let's hit it. All right, just about to start it up here. It's about, oh, I would say it's gotta be about 25 degrees outside right now. It's pretty cold, a little bit of wind, um, but we're gonna start up the Wrangler. Thank goodness this one has the cold weather group, heated seats, heated steering wheel. And uh, I'm just gonna, Flip the camera here so we can turn it on and then you can see how this thing starts. So we're inside right now and turn it on. Let's make sure that everything is charged. So 26 miles, this thing gets about 27 miles um, on just purely electric right now. Uh, we're in gas, so I just have to get a plate and then we can start our test drive. And uh, yeah, let's see what what's the temperature outside, does it say? Uh, yeah, 27 degrees out right now, so we can get our nav going. I got my GoPro so we can have some of those videos uh, for this video. And uh, this one's got the cold weather group, the heated seats, heated steering wheel, definitely have that on. And you can see we got hybrid, electric, and e-save. So right now we're in hybrid mode. So that's why the engine's running. Um, but I do want to try the electric mode out and do some real world driving in the city, on the highway, and everything. So um, we'll get going right now. All right, here we go. Um, just starting off, I just want to point out how bright those uh, LED headlamps and fog lamps are. So anyways, we have a couple different modes down here. We have hybrid, electric, and e-save. Um, obviously electric puts it just in electric mode. Hybrid will switch between gas and the battery as it's needed. And then e-save is supposed to um, pretty much strictly use the engine to power the vehicle. Although we're staying still right now and everything's powered up, the engine is not running. Um, looks like my battery is at 98%, so that's at, um, I think it was 99 right when we turned it on. But basically, that's two days in the cold without, you know, being charged, but it was fully charged, so it didn't lose any um, really charge from being in the cold. So let's start the video. I got my GoPro here. We're going to start recording on that as well, and uh, we'll add that in to the um, we'll add that into the video as we go, but, uh, we'll start it off here and right now we're in e-save, so it should be just, um, just engine gas engine. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do fuel economy and we're going to do, we're going to reset it. I'll probably reset it once we get on the road here too. So love how nice and crisp that backup camera is. Other cool stuff we have going on. It's our standalone Jeep dealership that's going to be up and running in uh, April of next year. It's December 19th right now or 20th. But uh that should be done in April next year, so a couple more months. And I'll have a real office. We got a lot of trucks, a lot of used trucks for sale. So uh, check our website out, summitauto.com. I manage all the inventory here, and then I also do this YouTube channel for fun and to help us sell vehicles. We do full HD videos of every used vehicle that we have. All right, 
First off, you notice when you're, when you're driving this vehicle, you'll notice that it, it slows down a lot faster than um, a normal vehicle. And the brakes are a little stiffer, I guess you could say. It takes a little bit more to brake it. And I think that's part of the regenerative braking with the hybrid is that everything slows down to charge the batteries. Um, you can see how nice and bright those lights are though. Rides really smooth. Now this is a, I believe this is a $65,000 vehicle. Um, and it rides like a $65,000 vehicle. I mean for a Wrangler this thing is super smooth. So the engine's running right now. What we're going to do is we're going to drive it around town in e-save mode. And we'll go it's, uh, 440. We'll go for probably about 5 to 10 minutes here. And then I'll switch it to hybrid mode. And we will see how much we get for e-save mode for miles per gallon in the city. And then we'll go um, hybrid mode. And see what we get and then we'll do just electric mode I'm curious because I only work about three miles from home so this vehicle would be ideal for myself because I could drive it to work come back home drive it home for lunch drive it back to work and drive it back home on just an electric charge I can plug it in overnight and I theoretically would never have to go to Fleet Farm for gas again on my normal daily commutes. So we're just going to drive around town and uh, I'll probably fast forward the video. Um, like or put it like four times or something while we're going here. So. On the right, we have uh, the McDonald's that's featured in the show or the film Super Size Me with that guy that eats all the Big Macs. That's where he eats them. Going down Military Road in Fond du Lac here. Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. We're about an hour north of Milwaukee. Like, I'm not even hitting the brakes right now, and this thing's coming to a stop. We're at 95% battery right now. And that's the start-stop that's going on right now. We're at, since we're stopped, it's turning the engine off. Engine turns back on. I'm going to turn the heat up. It's kind of cold in here. I'd like to give a shout out to everybody on YouTube land that watches the channel, likes, subscribes, shares. It's a big help. It gives me the opportunity to do more videos like this. So we started this at 3.38, so we'll go a couple more minutes and then check the miles per gallon. Right now we're right around 18.5 in the city here. But uh, really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing on YouTube. Let everybody know if you're on any forums, share our videos. They go, when you share them on the forums and stuff, it seems like they really catch fire. Yeah, that's really the first thing that you notice on this vehicle is that when you're coming, when you let off the gas, the vehicle really slows down fast. I'm not even hitting the brakes right now. Like this is coming to a stop on its own pretty much. Now I'm applying the brakes. 
So it's it's different. It's not like driving a normal vehicle for sure. It's a little bit of a learning curve with the uh, brakes. You don't need to apply them as soon and the vehicle actually kind of brakes itself. I'll tell you what though, that heated seat and heated steering wheel is very nice. So we're coming up to Main Street here. This is uh, this street is Linden, but the next one's Main Street. We'll go down Main Street. Show you some of the establishments in downtown Fond du Lac. We got beer nuts. The brick house used to be main exchange. Some of the local bars here. Like I said, it's December 19th or 20th. Not really sure. There's the Coliseum. And on the right up here is Joe's Fox Hut. Pretty famous pizza place here in town. Now keep in mind we're in e-save mode. And for a full four-door Wrangler, we're still, we are still at 19 miles per gallon. I'm going to get on Johnson Street here. Johnson's the main street that runs east and west in Fond du Lac. Got a Mini Mart. Walgreens, quick trip, it's like a quick trip on every corner, they're going to build a new one pretty soon, we'll see that too. Let me get some heat on my camera hand here. Yeah, I've had a Wrangler before. I had a 2015 JK Unlimited Sahara. Had leather, nav, all the options. Wanted one, again, since I got rid of it, but I have a camper, and Wrangler just won't pull my camper, so not practical at the moment, but a vehicle like this would be great for daily commuter. But for me, it's hard to justify a $65,000 daily commuter. But that electric is intriguing and tempting to not have to put gas in my car for work. One of my favorite thing about the Wranglers is how quick they heat up. The, the heaters and Wranglers are exceptionally good. 
And I think just because, just because it's such a confined space and they really warm up quick. Like the anti-glare hood on here, or decal. Okay, we're at about 4.47, so we got one more minute, and then we'll be at 10 minutes for this particular um, segment of the video. I think what I do, I'll do is I will pull off here, or actually, I'll just, I'll turn it into hybrid mode. So we've gone about 10 minutes city driving, 19.4. Now I'm going to put it into hybrid mode see that that changed right there and we'll kind of take the same we'll take the same loop that we were just on so now it's 448 so we'll go to 458 Actually, they're going to be building a, another quick trip right there. That used to be where Shriner's restaurant was. That was pretty famous. Uh, that went out of business because of COVID and other reasons, but um, they're building a quick trip right there. Somebody's having a bad day. Anyways, in the comments below, you know, let us know what you think. Kind of a little different night test drive, but kind of ran out of hours on the day here. So you can see we're already up to 20.8 miles per gallon in hybrid mode. Actually, you know what? I'm going to reset that. Okay, now it's 450, so we'll do it. This is startup hybrid mode. It's 450. We'll go 10 minutes on this um, thing. And this is going to be the same, pretty much ex exact same loop that we just did. We're on the frontage road right now. We'll get up to Fleet Farm here again. And then we'll go left. And uh, we'll do that loop again. So you can kind of see what kind of miles per gallon you're getting on the hybrid city you can already see we're at 34.3 that's pretty good these guys are going super slow always go to the speed limit though so you don't end up like the guy back there You can hear it's pretty quiet in here. Um, Wranglers always have a little bit of road noise and you're always gonna be quieter in a hard top than you are a soft top. Just uh, air and noise can pass through a canvas a lot easier than the plastic and glass. This thing is really nice though, as it should be for $65,000. All right, we're coming up to Fleet Farm here, and we'll do 
that exact same loop again. Got the roundabouts. I don't mind them. Keeps traffic going. Frenchie's Tavern right there. That used to be the hitching post. There's the famous McDonald's again. So we'll fast forward these through town parts in the video and when we get up to the mini malls again we'll check out the mileage with the hybrid and then we can do it with the e-save and then we'll get some highway driving and final thoughts I guess you could say and then I'll put it all together and make a hopefully comprehensive and entertaining video this one's got all the goodies. It's got nav, heated seats, heated steering wheel. It's got the backup cam, the LED light group, leather seats. So we're actually at zero RPMs. We're at 84% battery right now. So I got 20 miles of purely electric left with the hybrid mode. So it does eat up some of your battery when you're in that hybrid mode, obviously. And it is weird to get used to letting off that gas and the vehicle just wants to come to a stop. Coming back up the main street. I think we'll get some food after this video. I don't think I'm going out tonight. Probably just get a sandwich at home. All right, my 
feet are cold, so I'm going to change that. Getting back on the Johnson here. All right, here we go. That was a long red light. Sorry, I paused the video there. Fire tucks on the left there. That's a it's a pretty good place to eat. Gino's Italian. They got some good pizza there. I heard Riviera Maya on the right there. That's pretty good Mexican food. Dairy Queen. Blizzards, of course. Alright, so now we've gone about another round here and you can see that we're at 30 miles per gallon now that's on hybrid mode so city driving hybrid mode about 30 miles per gallon uh, when it was just on when it was on e-save mode we got about 20 miles per gallon so about 10 miles per gallon better so what we're going to do now is we're going to take the same loop and i'm going to put it in electric mode as soon as we get around this corner and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'll get us on a straight stretch here. And I will put it in electric mode. Electric mode saves fuel for later use. So we're going to reset this.
can already see that the on the right there is going down only 19 miles on electric you can see the battery is already starting to go down to 77 but we're getting phenomenal fuel mileage here 43 just keeps climbing Once again, we'll fast forward this part of the video, or maybe just do the GoPro video for this part. And then what we're going to do next is I'm going to take it on the highway. We're going to go about 10 miles, maybe, maybe 5, 10 miles. We'll do a loop on the highway, see what kind of highway mileage this gets. And then we'll compare, contrast, and try and wrap the video up in a comprehensive end to it. This thing is so quiet, it's crazy. Even with the big tires on it, it's got BFGs. I think they're 325. So you can see my miles per gallon are right at about 50. We only got 17 miles left on the uh, battery life. But if we only have 17 miles to go for the daily commute, this would be ideal. Batteries at 
That guy doesn't have his lights on. Smart. Really smart.
we're coming up to our uh, stopping point here for the city driving. Now I do want to make it clear that I had, I think that's the recharge uh, button. So that's max regeneration. So that's takes that's taking all the brakes, all the momentum of the vehicle to recharge the batteries whenever it can. So that's probably why it's it feels like it's braking so hard um, when I have my foot off the gas and brake. Uh, so we're coming up to the end here. 46 it says um, I have half the battery left in the vehicle and I've got 11 miles um, of electric left. So we can compare those and then I'm going to turn e-save mode back on. I'm going to go get some food and then we're going to take this on the highway and finish up the uh, final part of the video, which is the highway driving. And uh, stay tuned for that. So I got e-save mode back on. So here the engine kicked back in. Um, so we'll go from there. So I did want to just point out one quick thing. I'm stopped here to get something to eat. And I turned the vehicle off and it gave me how, uh, how long it would take to charge the vehicle. So you can see um, with the 120 volt, it would be 8 hours and 47 minutes. And 240 volt would be 1 hour and 16 minutes. So that's kind of neat um, when, you're, when you're done driving that you can see how long it's going to take to charge the vehicle. thought that was kind of neat. Um, I'm going to get something to eat and then we'll keep going. All right, so we did the city driving. We had the max regeneration on. Um, so I'm guessing that skewed it just a little bit, but we're going to go on the highway. I'm going to turn the max generation regeneration off and we're going to get some real world driving on the highway with the e-save mode, the hybrid, and then the electric. So here we go. All right, we are going to be pulling up regeneration off. We are in hybrid mode. I'm going to get it up to 70 miles per hour. I'm going to put the cruise control on and then I'm going to reset the um, fuel economy so we can get a good measure of what we're going to get for fuel economy. We're going to go probably about three miles. All right. We're at 70, 70 miles per hour, 71, reset it. Once again, we are in hybrid mode with max regeneration off. Kind of curious to see if that max regeneration would change anything let's see our battery is at 43 percent we have an 11 miles distance on just electric she rides smooth on the highway really a nice vehicle I think we've kind of evened out here. So hybrid mode on the highway, about 71 miles per hour. I'm going to be right around that 25.5 to 26.1. 
going down just a little bit right now. So I'm going to get off the highway here. So right around 25, 24. So just because I'm curious, what we'll do is we'll do, I'll turn the max regeneration on and then we'll go back the way we just came. Or we'll do that run again with the max regeneration on. We'll go the other way with e-save mode on. And then we'll reset it here. And then we'll go back the other way with the max regeneration on. We'll get up to 71 miles per hour again. All right, now we're going back down Highway 41 here. set at 71 we'll reset it now we're in e-save mode so this should just be the two liter I think we got a little bit more wind going this way. So really not that good in e-save mode. Five, fifteen point three, fifteen point two, point one. Wonder how much that has to do with the wind. I bet a little bit, but it shouldn't be that much. Looks like we evened out right at about 14.1 miles per gallon. That's on the highway doing 71 in um, e-save mode. So no electric assistance. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one more time back north on 41 in hybrid mode and we are going to turn max regeneration on we'll do that right now Go back to hybrid mode this is just to quench my curiosity to see if 
max regeneration affects miles per gallon on the highway. So once again, I'll get up to 71, I'll reset it, and then we'll check it out. So I'm doing the exact same run that I just did in hybrid mode with the max regeneration off. So now max regeneration's on. Get it down to 71. Now I'll reset it. We are at 25 or so. Yes, I'm really driving on the highway. That's interesting. It's not really, it doesn't look like it's really affecting it with the max regeneration. In fact, I'm getting a little bit better than we were before. And yes, the heated seats and heated steering wheel are a nice feature. So that's really interesting. We're actually getting 27, 28 miles per gallon with the hybrid mode with the max regeneration on. Now it's coming back down to 't of what happened before we got on the highway went up pretty far boy she really slows down when you have that max regeneration on So I think the only thing we have left is um, in electric mode to be on the highway in electric mode and see how that goes. And then we're going to be, once we get that all done, I'm going to go back to the shop. We'll do a walk around video on this, uh, on this vehicle. You can check that out in the upper right hand part of the screen. But I'm going fully electric mode right now. We'll reset it. Once we get up to speed here. guy's gonna go slow. Well, I'm just gonna stay with traffic here. So this guy's going 66 in front of me. Set.
was going super slow. Anyways, we're like right around that 40. It almost feels like even though I'm in electric mode, it feels like the uh, engine's still running. Not really sure. See our battery's dropping down to 19% now. 18. We're down to four miles. When I had to pick it back up, I had to turn turn the electric mode off temporarily to get me back up to the speed. was at 40 I had to speed up got it down to 33 or so anyways hope you enjoyed the videos um, I'm gonna be talking about it here in just a little bit so uh, remember you can go check out our uh, videos I might even do a 0 to 60 here just at the end of it since I do have a little bit of battery left And we'll do our video on it. So I'm going to make sure here we are at Summit. I'm going to make sure that nobody's coming and that nobody's behind me for this video. All right, here we go. Get on the road, nobody's behind me right now. Full stop and go. There we go. All right, so that concludes the uh, Jeep Wrangler 4xe test drive and um, hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to do, taking the past hour and a half driving this around. I just did the video walk around for this vehicle. It's in the upper right hand part of the screen if you want to check that out. I uh, had a lot of fun doing it and uh, remember to like, subscribe and share on the channel. I'll keep making the videos, you keep watching them and uh, stay tuned for all the new Jeep stuff coming out with the uh, standalone Jeep dealership that we have coming. We're bound to get some of the most select inventory in the state and perhaps the country. So stay tuned and lots of good things to come. Thanks for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share.